Serpent Lake is twice as clear as it was 10 years ago, and phosphorus levels are down. The Crow Wing Soil and Water Conservation District's work with Deerwood and Crosby helped to reverse a trend in declining water quality. We use this thing called the Secchi Disc, and uh, those readings tell you basically how far you can see a white disc. And five or six years ago, those numbers were in the 12 to 17 foot range, and now we're seeing in the high, high 20s to low 30s uh, in those ranges. So the water clarity has, has doubled in value, basically. Uh, and, and the clear water is what makes the water more attractive to swimmers and fishermen and uh, water skiers. A $1.2 million targeted watershed clean water fund grant from the Minnesota Board of Water and Soil Resources supported that work. We had uh, a series of different projects, five different projects that we worked on in one little area. And uh, because of that sort of targeted effort, we were able to make a big difference in the lake. One of the projects was here at the Summer Place Cabins in Deerwood. We worked very closely with the, with the owners of the Summer Place uh, residences, uh, decided that, that the best way to do this was in a two-stage bioretention bio cell where we uh, uh, handle the initial flooding issues up here in the larger cell and then it goes into an iron-enhanced sand filter for final polishing before it goes to the lake. And with that combination, we can remove in the neighborhood of 90% of the, of the total phosphorus that comes through the system. Well, the flooding issue has been completely alleviated. We haven't had any problems with that. Our water sampling has, has shown a decrease in, in total phosphorus getting to the lake. Well, I think what made this project successful was the, the citizen involvement. Um, you know, from that first project we did in Crosby, we had a lot of involvement from the Lake Association and, and its members, and, and you know, that's kind of what drove, in my opinion, that's what drove this project and, and the other projects that fit into this watershed approach. The citizens understood the need, the Lake Association members understood the, the issue, the, the problems that they were having, and were looking for solutions, and, and I think with the help of the Soil and Water District and other agencies, they, they were able to get their their kind of their hands dirty and get a project started and, and start to see the difference and I think that just kind of builds on itself. Success builds on success. Well, this whole project has really um, provided a framework for what we call protection uh, for lakes that are not um, impaired which basically means that uh, lakes that still meet state standards and that we can do stuff uh, to keep these lakes healthy and then also uh, a vibrant community and economy.